So this is the Mach 1, it's uh, current president of the Central Pennsylvania Mustang Club. This is uh, their ride. I, mean, it's, I think this actually is his wife's ride. But uh, they daily drive this Mach 1, it's kind of cool. Uh, this car here, give you a little heads up. This car here is incredible because he painted this with Rust-Oleum paint. And did it a body panel at a time and wet sanded and buffed to get it to where it's at and let me tell you the car looks incredible um, this is proof that if you can imagine it and you have a little bit of, of uh, patience and skill you can really do a lot I'm going to just show you the attention to detail first of all check out the weld wheels it just makes that box body doesn't it and uh but look at the, at the attention to detail. Changed out his hardware. Just everything about this car. He, he really, it's one of the nicer uh, Fox bodies that I've seen in quite a long time. And, uh, you know, the inside is just as nice. Let me snack, uh, come in here once and give you an idea. But, you know, what I appreciated was he put the red around the gauges. And he's got some accents in the car. He put some red in the seats. Just to dress it up just a little bit. Beautiful car. And then over here, this is my buddy Muskies. Um, I was at the Ford Nationals and did a uh, did a video on this. He calls it the Killer Cougar. And uh, this is another example of somebody can do in their garage with a little bit of uh, skill set and an imagination. So check out the... Uh, racing seats and I'm, like I said if you watched my Ford Nationals video you've seen this car but uh, you know I, I gotta give him credit it's it's a, a great build he deal, he, he streets it uh, he doesn't drag it he just he wanted something from the street he builds he builds cool stuff that's just what he wants to see like right here's an old Mustang 2 that he built with his son his son's driving right now and uh, you know this this is a beautiful car for, for a Mustang too, this is as clean as it gets, and they didn't go crazy. He didn't go and shove a V8 in there. He kept the two, three, four cylinder in it, and the car just looks great. And he did some a custom front uh, bumper to it. The wheels look great. I like the racing seats, the black and the blue. Not too much, just a little touch of style. I love it, and. Uh, I can't wait to see what he does next with it. He's talking about grafting uh, Fox body uh, ground effects onto it. And uh, you know, here's some Mustang content. If you're a Mustang guy, you uh, may like these next couple cars. Um, I want to come over here and really look hard at this. This is a nice, really nice GT350. Uh, it's a color you don't see as often. And uh, just a nice clean car and uh, he looks pretty much all stock underneath it's, it looks great and uh, you can see the lights are lit up on the car I like it I like everything about it it's just a cool car so here's Jimmy's car number one uh, video content vehicle on my channel everybody loves the car it's a work in progress as always. I think that's with any Volkswagen that's older. You're always doing stuff to it. But, uh, you know, if you want to see any information on the car, there's, you know, information on how what we did here, uh, some of the stuff that Jim came up with. Check that out. It's, uh, like I said, the most popular videos on the channel. Of course, Bobby Yaga. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on this car because you guys have seen it. It's all over my channel, you know, being the fact that I own it. But, uh, you know, I wanted to show you. I did a video recently where I did my calipers. And uh, to pull the color together, I'm always about attention to detail. I went with the red on the, on the uh, centers. And I went with the silver to tie the silver with the Brumbo together. And I just wanted to point that out because I think that attention to detail is what wins car shows. Of course, here's my buddy Chris's AMG. And uh, 
he's a big snap on fan they paid him to advertise for them on the car and uh, really cool little MG I've seen this car before this is a, a great little example of uh, British ingenuity back in the day I'm sure it handles well and he's done a nice job of keeping it as original as possible I like that this Vega has been I've seen this around crazy little Vega you can see here and uh, it's just a nice little build it sounds wonderful when he comes yeah you know, when he came in it sounded great it's got racing harnesses in the car and uh, a bar back there so uh, overall just a super nice car yeah and then this gentleman here he has a lot done to this he uh, I believe it's a Cobra or recreation because of how hard the R's are to find. Of course, there was three or four of them at the Nationals this year, which was a first in a long time, but very clean car, uh, very nicely done. If you're into this body style, um, just super clean. Even, even the wheels, everything, you know, I'm gonna give them a credit to keep a car clean. Get it clean and keep it clean is a lot of work. So it's a great build as well back up here we've got a Corvette nice C10 nice motor shoved in there aluminum heads a little bit of money spent there demon carburetor on it a little bit of a couple bucks there looks like ceramic coated headers nice just nice overall build and uh, this Impala here sounded wonderful when it came in very nice attention to detail under the hood you got to appreciate that um, yeah yeah it's a cool and if the for you uh, Mopar guys here here's a GTS and uh, we'll walk back here first before we hit the engine could show you the interior in this I think you'll appreciate it uh, just a very nice clean car it's black so you know black shows everything and if you look down the side of this car it's straight and it looks good um, there you have it so this gentleman here had this car built and it is an actual Shelby Super Snake. And uh, he actually got the car. It was 850 horse. And he actually sent it back and had them detune it. And uh, it's a beautiful car. I'm sure it was not cheap. But uh, yeah, so I'll shoot some interior on this car. And uh, the upholstery is pretty cool. I did the blue and white. You can see there. And you can see the floor mats. Let me bump that up so you can read that. So, yeah. Overall. Shelby Las Vegas. Shelby 50th. Yeah. Just everything about the car. Yeah. Just really cool. And then this. Right here, there's a soft spot for RX FD, RX7 FDs. So, when that came in, I couldn't tell if that was black or Montego. I think it's Montego. Yeah. He's colorblind. He can't tell. I am colorblind. <laughs> I do not think it's orange. <laughs> but it's a cool Put the old modular 32 valve in there. Hmm. 
Oh, looky here. There's something rare you don't see much anymore in high demand. Change. <laughs> How about it? Nice. Nice street rod. Interior on that. That's cool. It's nice and clean inside. It's a real nice build. Real nice build. I like the detail on the pinstripe. Looks like rebar. Or not rebar, but uh, barbed wire. It's cool. Yeah, real nice. Cool older pickup. Old Chevy. Blue Angel was his nicknamed it. This sounded really good when it came in for just a nice little small block under hood. It sounded really well. And of course, you have a 396. Chevelle SS. I don't know if that's an original color, but it's a cool looking car. As you can see, hood's not popped, so I really can't show you much more detail. This thing sounded really good when it came in. Nice Camaro 68 Rally Sport. Clean. Super. Clean. Wow. It's cool. I like the speakers behind the seat. <laughs> nice, clean, older, like 05, 06. Yeah. I guess pretty correctly here the way it looks. That's cool. It's a nice clean build. Yeah. It's nice. I mean, I know that there's a lot of Mustangs here, but they're a popular car. But uh, just nice and clean, simple inside. You know? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta get here early if you want a good spot. Logan's RS. Love the color. I just think that's such a cool color. Nice clean car. You know, just nice and clean. Check that out. Actually, Ray did this back back here as well. That was his unit when he was in the military. Warlock. It's kind of cool how he's personalized it himself. Did the flag with the stripe here. Just a nice clean 18. And he upgraded the brakes here as well. It's got bare rotors on it. Just a nice, let me move my hand here. Upgrade the brakes as well to the bare rotors, performance pads. And it's got the, the uh, Elderbrock blower on, I think it's a 2.65. And this is, like I said, this is an 18 or newer. This used to be Bill's car from CJ's Pony Parts. And uh, Ray's done a lot to try to make it his own. Put the blower package on it, the hood. And I'll show you it's a carbon fiber Anderson Composites hood. And then he went ahead and he had it painted. As you can see, it looks almost GT500 like. It's a good looking hood with the hood release buttons. And he put the wrap, like I said, on. He changed the logos here. You know, it's done a lot to the car to just try to personalize it, which is probably cool. I realize there's a lot of Mustangs out there, but if you look, they're hardly ever uh, left alone. There's customers tend to, or owners tend to, always customize. 